let's try to complete bible by reading a chapter a day in this chapter we read about john's disbelief in jesus as the messiah as he expects jesus to immediately bring an earthly kingdom then jesus tells john's disciples to go and tell how isaiah's prophecies are coming true as jesus is healing the blind lame lepers deaf and as well as raising the dead and preaching good news to the poor next in this chapter jesus pronounces judgment on the cities of corison and bethsaida where people do not repent despite seeing him perform great and powerful miracles he says in the same chapter if these same miracles had been performed in the wicked cities of tyre and sidon those idol worshippers would have repented in great humility he is very unhappy with their unbelief in the end in this chapter he thanks the father for hiding the truth from the wise who are arrogantly wise as they are not looking really for the truth god will reveal the truth to those whom the world has dismissed as children next he invites all who are weary and weighed down to come to him and find rest by taking his yoke so let us read the chapter matthew 11 and it came to pass when jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples he departed hence to teach and to preach in their cities now when john had heard in the prison the works of christ he sent two of his disciples and said unto him art thou he that should come or do we look for another Jesus answered and said unto them Go and shew John again those things which he do hear and see the blind receive their sight and the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them and blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me and as they departed jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning john what went ye out into the wilderness to see a reed shaken with the wind but what went ye out for to see a man clothed in soft raiment behold they that wear soft clothing are in kings houses but what went ye out for to see a prophet ye i say unto you and more than a prophet for this is he of whom it is written behold i send my messenger before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee verily i say unto you among them that are born of women they have not risen a greater than john the baptist notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he and from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and violence take it by force for all the prophets and the law prophesied until john and if ye will receive it this is elias which was for to come he had that ears to hear let him hear but where unto shall i liken this generation it is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying we have piped unto you and we have not danced we have mourned unto you and we have not lamented But John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he had a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man, gluttonous, 
and a wine bibber a friend of publicans and sinners but wisdom is justified of her children then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not woe unto thee Corazin woe unto thee Bethsaida for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes but i say unto you it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you and thou Capernaum which art exalted unto heaven shall be brought down to hell for if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom it would have remained until this day but i say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee at that time jesus answered and said i thank thee o father lord of heaven and earth because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes even so father for so it is seemed good in thy sight all things are delivered unto me of my father and no man knoweth the son but the father neither knoweth any man the father save the son and he to whomsoever the son will reveal him come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light may the lord bless his word